Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today I thought we'd take a look at cross needle watt meters slash SWR meters and look at how they work and how to read them. The, uh, this is the typical SWR meter with two needles that cross and we'll show how they work. Let's jump in. What we're looking at here is a Palstar WM150M. Uh, it is a typical cross needle SWR meter. It shows both forward power and reflected power and then the red lines in the middle are SWR. We're going to take a look at them and how to read them. Here's an example where the forward power is on the order of 75 watts and the reflected power is about 8 watts and you look where the needles cross and you see it's uh, 1.5 that's probably about 1.75 and then 2 so we're probably looking at a 1.8 to 1 SWR uh, with this chart. On this next chart we've got about 30, 10, 20, 30, 40, about 30 watts forward and about 5 watts return and we see that the needles actually cross above the 2 to 1 mark a little bit. So your SWR is probably about 2.2, something like that. Now here's an example where things are <laughs> kind of off the scale. Uh, we've got over to about 210 forward watts and about 47 uh, reflected watts. Now the interesting thing is uh, those will probably intersect on that uh, three line there. Um, I reduced the power and here's what I came up with. Um, it actually was two and a half, about two and a half SWR which is still bigger than one. What I've drawn is some lines here just to show the effects of, of how that thing would work. Uh, let's take this one right here. This is the reflected power and we'll just put it at uh, 10 watts reflected power. Okay. Now uh, we take the forward power one and if we put this up at 10 watts, look where they cross. Infinite SWR. Okay, well let's take it up to 50 and we find we're in the middle of between 2 and 3. If we take this up to 100, we're under 2. Take it up to 200. And we're a little bit over 1.5. And at 300 watts, we're about 1.45, somewhere in there with that. Now let's take a different uh, amount of reflected power here. We'll move this down to 5 watts. Okay, it's only 1.2 to 1 at 300 watts out, but let's go for a more realistic 100 watts. Okay, and we are at 1.5. Okay, that's still a very good SWR right there, only 5 watts, so we're just losing 5 watts that's coming back at us. However, of course, if we take that down to 5 watts, we're back at the infinity line again. Uh, 10 watts, we're losing half our power. It's still terrible SWR at 50 watts. You can see where the needles cross can be very important. Um, here's an example of a 5 to 1 SWR. 50 watts forward, 27 watts back, 5 to 1, that's terrible SWR. You're losing a lot of power. But this shows you how to read the thing. Um, here's a case where it's between 2 and 3. Let's bring the power out up to 200. Okay, we're just at 1.5 to 1 with 10 back, which is what we had um, uh, when we were at... 5 and 100 gives you about the same SWR right there. Okay, so that's how to read that. Now, uh, what do you do if you're using voice? Because these needles are dancing. Um, the 
they will dance back and forth, both of them. They're reflected in the forward, but they will tend to always converge on one of these lines. They'll cross each other on one of these lines. And you've got to kind of look for which line they're crossing on, and that will give you the SWR. Well, I hope you found that interesting and informative. It's uh, always been a little hard for me to uh, read these while I'm using voice because the needles dance quite a bit, but now you know that they tend to cross on one of those uh, red lines and that will tell you the SWR that you're working at in the meantime. If, if you, you can always just say, ah, uh, or something like that to find out, you know, have it hold steady for just a minute and see what it is. Uh, the crossed, uh, cross needle uh, SWR slash watt meters are available from many vendors. MFJ has gobs of them, all sorts of them you can seek out. The particular one that we use today was from Palstar and is capable of uh, being operated up to 3000 watts. So it uh, has plenty of overhead if you're using a full legal limit amplifier. Uh, it also has a 300 watt scale, which is what this is on for this video. Uh, that I use uh, just when I don't have the amplifier on. Well, thank you very much for being part of this community. And uh, please look at uh, decastler.com support for different ways that you can uh, fund this channel and add to the channel funds. Um, and until we next meet, which I hope will be tomorrow, 73.